Hello everyone and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. My name is Björkeng and I'm a graphic designer. Today I want to teach you how to make a lightning effect on your Photoshop text, like the one I got in front of me here. So the first thing you need to do is to download the graphic pack that I've included in the description of this video. This pack includes four files, two patterns, one render and one font. When you've downloaded this pack, I want you to install the font, uh, which is called Snail. This is the font that we will use for the text. When you're done with that, I want you to open up the Carbo image, uh, which is which we're going to make into a pattern. So to make it into a pattern, we press Edit in the top left corner of Photoshop. Then we go to define pattern and you choose a name for your pattern, it doesn't matter what it's called, and you press OK. Now let's make a new document. This is going to be the main document. So put the width to 800 pixels and height to 500 pixels. So our background, it should be dark gray to make the text more visible. And let's start off by making a new text layer. I'm gonna write the text text us and the size it should be at 280 points and the font should be at should be Bebas Neo, the one you just installed. So when you're done that uh, go to the layer uh, the text layer you just created and edit the blending options to overlay. Now right click the text layer and duplicate the layer. After you've done that, you right click the top layer and press blending options. Here we're going to change the shadow and uh, bevel and gradient and so on. So we start with the shadow, put the opacity to 100%, the distance to 0%, spread to 22%, size to 16%. Then let's move on to bevel and emboss. Here we want the style to be inner bevel, the technique to be smooth, the depth should be at a 1% and size should be at 0%. Further down you can see a highlight mode, put the opacity of this to a 100% and underneath that again we see a shadow mode, so put the opacity of that one to a 100% too. Now go on to the gradient overlay and choose the blending mode overlay. The opacity should be at a 100%. The gradient should be black to white uh, and scale should be at a 116%. Now let's go to the pattern overlay. Wait, 116%. Oh, wait, gradient, yeah. Now go to the pattern overlay and uh, choose the blending mode to be overlay and put the opacity to 26%. Now select the pattern that we created earlier, which was called Arbo in the first place and then press OK. So this is basically this is basically the text that we're going to add the effect on. So to start with we want to go to file, press place and place the disk render that was in the pack. We put this render on the bottom of uh, the image uh, and we will have the cracks on the bottom of the text. We don't want the circles we got here on the text so look out, watch out uh, for having it too far up on the text. Now we want to make this um, render black and white, we press Control shift and U at the same time 
and after that we want to put the blending mode to screen so when we've done that you right click the disk layer and you duplicate the layer after that we go to edit of course you select the copy of the disk layer go to edit transform and flip vertically now let's drag this layer up so the cracks are on the top of the text uh, and be careful to not have the circles inside the text area get two and now we want to duplicate the top the top layer again but this time we hide it and we just let it be there until we're done with next step so the next step will be to right click uh, the T image on the text uh, layer and select pixels now go to the marking tool uh, and right click the marking you got and select inverse now select the layer you uh, the disk layer and press delete do it on both of the visible layers like this so now when we've done that we want to unhide the layer which we hide it before and we drag it down so the cracks are on the middle of the text and uh, by doing this the circles will be visible on the top of the text so we will use the eraser tool on the top to delete to erase everything of the circles um, and when you see we got no white circles left there then we can right click the T image on the text, uh, text area again and select pixels then go to marking tool right click the selection and select inverse then on the top layer we press delete now we got uh, lightning effect in the middle too like the others let's make the opacity a bit less on this one so after we've done with this, this we want to go to file again and we want to place and we place the grunge uh, picture was in the pack and we sized it so it's at the same scale as the text. Um, after that we want to make this black and white too. So we press Ctrl, Shift and U at the same time again and we put the blending option to overlay. Now as we've done before we right click the text uh, layer and select the pixels. Now go to marking tool, right click the selection and select inverse. Then we delete, press delete on the grunge layer. Now we got this cool grunge effect too as you can see. So this is everything uh, that is has need to be done on the text. Now we want to add some colors, so we will add a gradient overlay on top of everything with the color of dark blue to a light blue color. Um, we want to change the blending mode of this to overlay and the opacity to 40% then it's a grayish blue icy color so this is basically everything this is the text that you just learned to create thanks for watching I hope you can press the subscribe button on the top of the video and please Put comments in the comment field below. Uh, and again, thanks for watching.